I have now completed several rows of interlinking plate and overplate rows. And all of this work is collected up as cloth here at the bottom. Now it's time to move things up to the top. How do I do that? Let me show you. This, these two sticks held together with tape. Remember, this was my initial cross. This was the first uh, up, down, up, down. And it represents the spaces that are held by the frame at either end. I'm going to take the tape off. That first stick slides up really easily because it's the same space as what was there at the top. The second stick represents the space that was at the bottom at the start. I'm going to take these sticks one by one and move them up to the top. Now I've got a really nice pearl cotton here. Sometimes the work will resist a little bit. It won't slide so easily. And if you have trouble, you can slide these just a few threads at a time to get them to go up to the top, to get them where you want them to go. But I'm going to slide these rows one at a time all the way up to the top. And when I get my work all there shoved at the top, then to keep that work from coming undone, I'm going to insert another pair of stop sticks. Again, this is a pair of chopsticks that are still joined at the middle. And you want the stop stick at the top to be in the same space as this upper stick. So I'm going to shove one more row up. I'm going to take this row and I bring it all the way up to the top here. And I place my stop stick right there at the top. The upper stop stick is going to hold the same space as my upper stick here. And the lower stick, the space, the shed at the bottom, is held by the stop stick down here. And that's going to be my rule throughout the work. I've shoved the sheds. I've caused the cloth to build up. And now I go back to work again. I'm going to begin with a plate row.